Welcome! In this lecture, I will give you a quick overview to Arabic language. I know Arabic is challenging for most people. Don't listen to those who say Arabic is hard or difficult. Just relax. Arabic is fun and logical. And of course, you know that learning a language is all about practice. Don't sit and study. No amount of reading or memorizing will make you successful. You have to apply what you learn. So, what do you know about Arabic? Do you know that Arabic is usually ranked among the top six of the world's major languages? As the language of the Quran, the holy book of Islam, it is also widely used throughout the Muslim world. Modern standard Arabic is used in books, on television and radio, in the mosques, and in conversation between educated Arabs from different countries. Arabic has many regional dialects, and if you want to master one of these, the only really effective way is to spend a few years in the place of your choice. In my opinion, as a professional teacher, I encourage you to start learning MSA, which is Modern Standard Arabic, before even learning a dialect. Because when you learn MSA, you will learn the basics of the language, then any dialect will be easy for you to learn after that. Also, starting with MSA will benefit you in many ways. You will understand what you hear from TV or radio or even conversation. Plus, if you speak MSA, you will be understood not only in one Arabic country, but in all Arabic countries. Arabic is a historic language. It has never changed. It doesn't change. And I can assure you this, it will never be changed. So it's a wise investment for anyone. Don't waste your time on dialects. Dialects will change by the time. Arabic is written from right to left. And here's the good news. There are no capital letters. There are 28 consonants and three vowels which can be short or long. The short vowels are marks written above or below the letter. And there are no helping verbs in Arabic. 